Hello, and welcome to the ICC Mobus Master Tool Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to graph the data contained in a CSV file created by logging. We'll start by double-clicking on the file to open it in Excel. You'll see we have three columns, the timestamp, the register, and the value. By default, the timestamp displayed only shows the minutes, seconds, and tenths of seconds. If we take a look at the log file in text format, we'll see the time is logged with both the date and time, down to the thousandth of a second. If we want the timestamp displayed differently, we can customize the data format for this column. To do this, select the timestamp column, right click, and select Format Cells. You can select any one of the pre-configured formats for date or time, or you can create a custom format. For this tutorial, we'll stick with the default format for our timestamps. Before we start graphing the data we logged, we need to sort it by register so that we can easily select the values we want to graph. To do this, select the register column, click on the data tab, and then click on the sort button. We want to sort everything based on the register number, so make sure expand the selection is selected and click sort. As you can see, our data is now sorted by the register. Now we're ready to add a graph. First, we'll deselect the register column. Go to Insert and select a scatter graph. We now see a blank graph. To add data to it, right click and click Select Data. Over here in the legend entries, we'll add a new series. We'll create a series for register 1 first so we'll type register1 for the series name. Next, we need to select our x values, which will be our timestamp. We can do this by just selecting the timestamps in our spreadsheet for register1. And then we'll select the values for register1 for our y-axis. Now click OK to add the series. We can add more registers by following these same steps. We'll go ahead and add one more series for register2. Once we're done creating the series for our graphs, we'll click the OK button. We now have a graph that shows how the register value changes over time for both register 1 and register 2. There's a lot more you can do with the logging data than just what's shown in this tutorial, so play around with some of the options or even try out other software to visualize the data. Thanks for watching.